Today I'm taking you on a tour of Ellingson Motor Cars in Rogers, Minnesota. We're going to look through the inventory. Every car you see here is available for sale. If you're not in the market to purchase one of these vehicles, you can come and visit Ellingson Motor Cars in Rogers. For $10, you'll have an afternoon of fun checking out these wonderful classic automobiles. This is a 1941 Cadillac Series 61 five passenger vehicle in black. Three forty six CID Elahead V eight two barrel three speed manual has original sales and paper California history. Beautiful looking car. Here we have a Cadillac Series 75. Can I have Cadillac Row? Has the V8 three-speed manual transmission. Again, check out the link in the video description for more information about these vehicles for sale to see if they're still available for sale at the time that you're watching this video. All right, what kind of a car is this? Yep, it's another Cadillac, Cadillac Row. This is a 1936 Cadillac Series 85 four-door sedan. And this is another Cadillac, 1941, 62 Deluxe. Another high quality car. I think most of these cars are pretty high quality looking cars. All right. Check this one out. This would be a great car to drive to a car show. You're not going to see a second one of these at the car show likely. This is a 1959 Pontiac Catalina Safari Wagon. They need to have a really big garage to fit this in. Keep that in mind before you come out to purchase this at Ellingson Motor Cars. Only $49.95. Oh, I forgot a nine, $49,995. Got a V8, two barrel carburetor, automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, fresh paint, original condition, Canyon Copper. It was a one owner car for, well, it's not one owner, but same owner for over 50 years. Right, next car here. Nineteen sixty seven Buick GS.
Got ourselves a Chevrolet Impala. What year did you guess on this one? Can you? What's nice about a lot of these older cars is that they're all unique. So usually you can tell year to year. It says just arrived, inquire with the sales department. All right, here we have a Studebaker Champ. This is a 1960 half ton. Available for sale for $35,995. Every vehicle here is available for sale, or you can pay $10 and come and check them out. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Ellingson Motor Cars. I'm just coming here for fun and to get some content for this Vehicle Mundo YouTube channel. Here we have a 1931 Cadillac 370A V12 five passenger vehicle. I'm amazed at every one of these cars, to be honest. Each one is unique in its own way. Beautiful grill. Beautiful looking car. Now it looks black from the one angle, but when we get here, it's really a dark kind of green color. tight quarters in here to get some of these cars. Here's our next car. Let's see if I can get it all in one shot. There we go. This is a 1937 LaSalle Series 50 convertible sedan. One of 530 convertible sedans produced. Three-speed manual transmission. 322 cubic inch L head V8. Really like the older interiors of cars. If our new modern cars are all fancy in the inside, but I kind of like the look of these older ones. They looked more intricate. This is a Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova convertible. Let's see if I can get this all in one shot. Sneak in between two cars here. There you go. Kind of cool headlight feature there. It's 194 C inline six, one barrel, 120 horsepower, power glide auto. So the early Nova Chevy 2s. At least not this one, not really a high-powered car. All right, our next car. Can we tell what year this is from the front? If you guessed 1964 Chevrolet Corvair Monza, you were correct. Now, if you're watching this video on a small phone, I would suggest doing so again on a large screen 4K TV. This quality of video is such that in a large screen like that, you might be able to see these years on the window cards before I even mention the year on the window card. All right, a little red car. This is a Nash Metropolitan 1955. Neat little car, affordable price. $28,995 currently available for sale at Ellingson Motor Cars. Have a Ford Mustang Convertible 1967.
nice looking convertible. I owned a 1969 Ford Mustang convertible back in 1984 for a brief period of time. It was nowhere in this shape. It had a hole behind the front seat. Needed body work on every panel, but at least the convertible top worked. So again, this was 1967 Ford Mustang convertible. This one's a 289 V8 four barrel automatic. It says it has Shelby taillights. Let's go check out, check out those Shelby taillights. Just bumped into a shovel. Hopefully it doesn't fall. So definitely some Shelby taillights. A 1951 Oldsmobile Super 88 convertible. Three fifty V eight four barrel turbo hydromatic three fifty auto power seat power top. This is a nineteen fifty five Oldsmobile Super eighty eight convertible. Eighty nine ninety five. All right, this is the highest priced car we've come across so far. Nineteen eighty five Duesenberg two SJ dual cowl Phaeton. 249995. It's a massive looking car. Again, we need a really big garage if we're going to put this in it. Amazing looking vehicle. And here we have a 1960 Chevrolet Impala convertible. Current price is 89.95, so 89.995. Again, more information and details about these vehicles, if you're interested in purchasing them, is available on Ellings and Motor Cars website, and I'll put a link in the description of this video to that website. Here we have a 1957 Ford Fairlane. 500 Skyliner retractable for $69,995. Has a pole growing out of the middle of it. Let's go to the other side so we can see the whole car. Amazing looking vehicle. This is a 1969 Oldsmobile Cutlass Convertible. Currently on sale for $39,995. 1964 Chevrolet Impala SS. This 
327 engine, four barrel, power glide, power brakes, power steering, AC. It's a true SS with Southern history. New arrival, this is in my wheelhouse of vehicles. It is a Chevrolet Corvette pace car. This would be the C5 series of vehicles. C5s ran from 1997 until 2004. So this one just arrived for more information about this pace car. Check out the Ellingson Motor Cars website. This is a 1957 Ford Thunderbird E-Code convertible. 312 V8 engine, dual four barrel, 270 horse, Ford automatic, power steering, power brakes, AC. Indicates it came out of Arizona. Beautiful looking car. All right, another Corvette. So here's a little trick, assuming that the car has not been modified or the owner hasn't taken creative license. If we look at the hubcap, we have one, two, three, four, five spokes, if you will, or and then five recesses. So if there's five of those on a hubcapped car, that means this should be a 1966 Corvette. If there was six, it would be a 1965 Corvette. So based on it being five, we're gonna assume that this is a 1966 Corvette but we'll find out in a second. Cause like I say, people kind of do their own thing. Like I've seen a Thunderbird with side vents that people said was not a 55 Thunderbird cause this 55 didn't have that vent on the side. But then as it turns out, the owner modified it cause they wanted their car to run cooler. So it was a 55 Corvette with a side vent or, or Thunderbird with a side vent. Leather interior. So here's an example. This is a 1965 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, 454 big block, four speed manual, four wheel disc brakes. So here we have a 1956 Ford Thunderbird convertible with a V8 engine, four barrel, three speed manual transmission, 12 volt. Includes a porthole hard top and the soft top. You can see here the side vent for cooling. That was available in 56 and 57, but not 55. And you also had differences of badging between the different years in terms of the crest and the word Thunderbird appearing. So that's another way to tell differences of some of the years of Thunderbirds is based on the vent and the crest on the side and the Thunderbird script. Spending a little extra time on this car, these Thunderbirds were the competitor of the Corvettes. I really like these 55, 56, and 57 Thunderbirds are my favorite Thunderbirds of all time. I'm sure many would agree with that. Here we have a 1931 Ford Model A Victoria for $29.95.
have a 1966 Ford Mustang convertible. Has a 289 V8, Tremec five-speed manual transmission, power steering, AC, some performance upgrades. Right, have another Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. This one's an amazing looking color. And has V8 engine, Edelbrock four barrel, turbo hydromatic auto, custom exterior it says, definitely custom exterior. We have a 1953 Buick Skylark, Skylark convertible. This one's $109,995. Getting a little bit busy here. It's a Saturday at Ellingson Motor Cars in for Saturday in March. So pretty active. People want to see some cool looking cars. This is a 1956 Ford Victoria. Currently selling for $45,995. Has a V8. Automatic transmission, four barrel, power steering. It was built in Long Beach, California. Nineteen sixty six Ford Mustang, thirty four nine ninety five. Nice color. Nineteen fifty five Chevrolet Cameo pickup. Love the look of this pickup. Saw this on the Links and Motor Cars website, looked at all the photos. This would be a great vehicle to purchase to go to some car shows. It would be great for me. I could go to back to the fifties, park this and capture some videos from the back of the bed of the pickup. Such good shape though, I don't even know if I'd want to put a chair back there or a, a tripod, but I'd get over it. It's been restored once, it can be restored again. Just an amazing looking vehicle. No, not a powerful vehicle. It's a 235 inline six, one barrel, three speed manual is 12 volt. It says one of 5,220 built. It's a 1963 Studebaker Avante. It's like 42,995. Yeah. Have sound on you bet. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so this is Studebaker Avante, white with a red interior, kind of really a cream off-white color with a red interior. A 1951 Nash Stateman Custom Coupe. 
$39,995 in black. 184 cubic inch in line six, automatic transmission, correct Carter carburetor, semi-floating rear axle, rebuilt fuel pump and engine tune-up, one of 38 produced in 1951. 63,422 indicated on the odometer. The 1952 Willys Aero Ace, Pontiac Catalina, that's not going to fit in most people's garages, but this one we can fit. Alright, so far the newest car that we've come across. This is the revised Ford Thunderbird uh, 2002, only $14,995. You could be cruising around this summer in a beautiful red convertible. Three point nine liter V eight, five speed auto with overdrive, power steering, power top. Out of Florida. Another convertible. <laughs> Old's Cutlass Supreme. It's already been sold, so you cannot buy this one but check the website. Maybe they have additional cars for sale. Maybe they have another Oldsmobile Cutlass. So check out the website at Ellingson Motor Cars. Link in the description of this video. And if you know the year of this Olds Cutlass Supreme, put a note in the comments of this video. Got one car here in the middle row. Green. Looks to be a new arrival. Window sticker says it's a member of the Crown Ford Victoria Association. Club Sedan. So Ford Fairlane. Here we have a 1937 Cadillac Series 60 convertible coupe. One Hundred thousand nine ninety nine nine ninety five. Has a fuel injected six point two liter LS three V eight, automatic transmission, dual Flowmaster exhaust, Wildwood power disc brakes, power steering, vintage air conditioning. Here we have a really large. Plymouth Fury. Need to have a massive garage to put this in. Years not indicated. It has a big wing. Let's just guess 57. I'll probably be right or wrong. If I'm wrong, make sure to comment. Another new inquiry. Or another new Chevrolet Bel Air. So no year indicated.
we know our mid-year Chevrolets of the 50s. Based on this grill, you would know exactly what year it is. There's a 55, there's a 56, there's a 57 tri-year Chevy. This is either a 55 or 56 because it doesn't have a big tail in the back. And then we should know based on the lights, but I'm guessing 56. But I always get the 55 and 56 mixed up in terms of the turn signal lights and where they're located. So I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. So don't hold me to it. This is a Lincoln. Again, must be a newer arrival. There's no card in the window. If you know what your Lincoln this is, make sure to comment in the description. Maybe I'll do some research and put the year on the screen. Probably should have said that earlier. Maybe I'll do that on a lot of these cars. In editing, I will put the year of the car when I'm unsure what it was. And then you can laugh at my bad guess. Here we have a Dodge D100 step side pickup. Well, sorry, swept side pickup, not step side. There's no step. 79,995. Stylish looking truck. Kind of a cool color combination of the white and green, kind of a sea foamy color green. This is a 1960 Plymouth Fury convertible being sold for $74,995. Apparently they did not get over the huge wing phase in 1960 on these Plymouths, but that is kind of an amazing looking wing. Let's go take a look at that. Some of these cars I likely have never seen in my lifetime, so. Look at the size of that wing. Here we have a 1966 Pontiac 2 plus 2 convertible. My stepfather had a 1960s convertible Pontiac. I'm not sure the exact model. I was really young back then. This one's 64,995. 1964 Chevrolet Impala in red. Nice looking interior, beige, tan. Like that combination of the red and the beige. Well, on the camera, it looks a little bit different in color than it does here in person. Slight color shift, but it's a little bit lighter and a little bit less yellowy than what is probably showing up on your screen. Of course, who knows what it looks like on your screen because your screen probably is not calibrated. So who knows what the color accuracy is. And here we have the massive 1959 Cadillac Series 62 convertible. Another car that requires a really huge garage. It's 189,995. See this car coming, you want to get out of the way. Next to that massive car, we have a baby car. 1964 Austin Healey Sprite MK2 or Mark II. 1275 CC inline four, dual one barrels, four speed manual. Frame off restoration from California, 29,995. I do like these little cars. 
similar to the C4 Corvettes. There's a trick to getting in and out of them because there's not very much space between that steering wheel and the seat. So you got to wiggle yourself in and establish a routine and stick to it. Slightly bigger than a go-kart. Take a peek at the back end of this Cadillac. Combination of the white and red classic. Beautiful car. And got the wings so it can fly down the road. Have a 1956 Oldsmobile Super 88 convertible for $89,995. Nineteen sixty Jaguar XK one hundred and fifty fixed head coupe, ninety nine thousand nine ninety five. Nineteen sixty one Chevrolet Corvette, new acquisition, no price. You have to check on their website for a price. Again, this video is being recorded the first week of March two thousand and twenty three. So that car might be gone in a year or whenever it is that you're watching this video. Here we have a 1957 Chrysler 300C. 1957 Ford Fairlane 500 Skyliner. Fifty-nine thousand dollars, nine hundred and nine to five. Now that white looks bright white on the screen. It's really a little bit of an off-white color. This is a nineteen fifty-six Pontiac Star Chief Custom. Got some uh, cleanup going on, so I'm gonna take a break here. So it looks like we have a Studebaker Champ pickup truck. Nineteen sixty-two ZE five one twenty-two half ton for thirty-nine nine ninety-five. Chevrolet Bel Air. Light blue with white. Cool looking interior. This is a 1955 Bel Air for $59,995. So we can tell by that headlight with the turn signal underneath it. That is the key, I guess, that it's a 1955. So earlier we were looking at this Bel Air car. It didn't indicate what year it was. We were trying to decide whether it was a 55 or a 56. We can tell it is a 1955 based on the turn signal light. Here we have a 1955 Packard Caribbean for $69,995. The top is white with a little bit of a bluish tint in it. And then the bottom is a light powder blue. 
This one's 69,995. Actually, it's really several colors of blue. As you can see in the interior, there's a lighter and a little bit more of a medium blue, as well as a darker blue. Step back. You can see there that you have three color. Hence the Caribbean, I guess. Just like water in the Caribbean. Dodge pickup truck, 350. No window card. If this is shown up on the Ellingson Motor Cars website, I will go ahead and look up and find out what year this is and post it on the screen of this video. And here we have another car that is unmarked. So guess what your car this is and model. Lock in your answers. And here is the correct information on the screen. Did you get it right? Head soul. That one's getting some work done. Kaiser Darren Sports Roadster, 1954. Cadillac El Dorado. Another new arrival. Cars are a coming, cars are a selling.
remember if we got this Ford Fairlane in the middle here. Nineteen fifty five. Beautiful red with off white color. Victoria. Did I say Fairlane or Victoria? Yeah, it's, it's both Fairlane and Victoria. Oldsmobile. Nineteen fifty five Super eighty eight. What a tight fit here. If I've already shown this car, I apologize. Had some issues with audio. So I had to putz around with the camera for a little bit. Hopefully we've got audio issues worked out using the in-camera audio. I've got that recording and I've got an external mic recording. My main receiver for my audio. The battery died, so a little bit sketchy. 1969 AMX. Like these cars, the kind of cool body shape. It is an AMC, so not all that fancy on the inside. I know it's a little bit dark there, exposure-wise. Back to the 56 Oldsmobile Super 8 convertible. Let's go back and pick up this Ford pickup truck. So it's a 1949 Ford F1 pickup resto mod. Three oh five cubic inch Edelbrock single and four barrel carburetor, automatic transmission, power front disc brakes, power steering. Comes from the south. It's a tilt steering wheel, Sony entertainment system. Go take a look at the bed. Nice looking truck. And here we have a Chevrolet Corvette pace car, an atomic orange. And this was 2008, I believe, that we did the pace car in the atomic orange. Oh, 2007, there you go. So I don't know my Corvettes very well. So 43,995 for this one, 400 horsepower, six liter LS2. I did get the color right, atomic orange. Nice station wagon. Again, so many cars for sale here. It's a little bit tight fit walking through. Gotta be careful. So it's a 1958 Buick Special Riviera Estate Wagon. 69,995. 364 cubic inch, nail head V8, two barrel auto, power steering, power brakes, southern history, one of 3,420. Cool looking car, plenty of room for your family. Bring them to the car show, bring them to back to the 50s in the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. You can see additional pictures and videos of this car and all of these cars on the Ellingson Motor Cars website if they're still available for sale.
1958 Ford Fairlane 500 Club Victoria. 44,995 US dollars. Kind of a like color that jumps out at you. People see it coming from a long ways away. 390 cubic inch came out of Arkansas. Indian turquoise colonial white exterior. And a custom turquoise and white vinyl bench seat. I love this car color combination. It's amazing. And look at that dash. Nice and bright and light colored. Looks like a lot of fun. Ooh, another Chevrolet Corvette. Like a lot of new arrivals. So look at the grill there. So this is 50 series Corvettes. Got single headlights, so it's probably going to be 56 or 57. Fifty-eight and newer went f to the other headlights, and your fifty-three through fifty-five had the kind of mesh headlight and a different look in front end. Doing some work here in the shop, improving a few cars, doing some tweaks of so the new models, getting them ready for sale. Got ourselves a tr Firebird Pontiac Firebird. Rans Am in red. Don't know the year. Again, new arrival. If it's posted on the website when I'm posting this video, I will go ahead and put the year on the screen. I'm guessing 75, maybe 76. Looks like doing some sort of a touch up or repair work in the trunk area there. Back to the Corvette. Another car where if you have really wide legs, have a hard time getting your leg between the steering wheel and the seat on some of these older cars. Kind of like that Austin Healey is the same issue. And back end of the Fairlane 500. This one was 44.995. Chevrolet Bel Air, 1955, 49,995, 350 cubic inch V8, Holly 4-barrel. 1959 Ford Fairlane 500 Galaxy Skyliner. 332 cubic inch V8 for $59,995 as of the time of the posting of this video. Nineteen thirty seven cord eight twelve Phaeton That's amazing.
Here's the back end of the car that's being worked on that we saw earlier. This vehicle is outbound, Chevrolet. Found itself a new home. It's a 3100 series Chevrolet truck. Another Chevrolet. Chevrolet convertible. Chevrolet Bel Air. Must be a 57, right? Because of the wing in the back. Another station wagon, family vehicle, Rambler. Kind of very unusual. Don't know that you'll see another one of these around. Not sure that I'm a fan of it. I think I would rather go for that Pontiac convertible, or sorry, Pontiac station wagon. Rambler station wagon custom, copper tone, poly, and peach. Was $2,630 base price. in 1957. A Rambler station wagon traveled from Los Angeles to New York on 92.3 gallons of gas, averaging 32 miles per hour, a record at the time. That is amazing. Oh, got a little bit bright here. I think we're getting near the end of the tour. Got another row of cars. Ford Torino. This one looks like a lot of fun. It's a GT. Must be a newer one, it doesn't have a window card in it, so we don't know the year. I'll do some research and post the year on the screen. Another huge car, Sunliner. Cool looking interior. Again, year not stated, so if you know what year it is, guess right now. And I'll look it up and put it on the screen. It's Fairlane. Here we 
We have a race car, a Hudson Hornet convertible. Maybe you shouldn't race in your Hudson Hornet. Cool looking uh, engine setup though. This one's on sale for $89,995 as of March of 2023. This is a 1954. This is a 1956 Oldsmobile Super 88 Holiday Hardtop, 49995 324 cubic inch, rocket V8, hydromatic, automatic, power brakes, power steering. Southern history. A lot of these cars coming out of the south. Bringing it up here to Minnesota so you can purchase them. Or pay ten dollars to come and look at them at Ellingson Motor Cars in Rogers, Minnesota. It's right out on Interstate 94, northwest of the Minneapolis St. Paul area. It's a 1956 Pontiac Star Chief Catalina Coupe for $39,995. It's a Packard Rolston 8, 1938 for $99,995. Got your side light there so you can see when you get in and out of your car. This interior is going to be pretty dark because it's all black point in there anyway. State of the art, side mirror, see what's happening. Looks like you can take that part off. Get some open air driving going in. We have a 1936 Packard 8 sedan, price reduced to $36,995 as of March of 2023. Another cool hood ornament. Take a look at the interior. Again, kind of dark in there. Got the video exposed for the outside of the vehicles, not for the inside. 1966 Ford Mustang convertible GT Tribute. two-tone interior, black with kind of a cream slash off-white color. And there's the back end of a 57 Chevrolet convertible. interesting interior. Like a black car with a red and silver inside, if you can see that. And 
And there's your back end, business end of a 57 Chevrolet. All right, this is the entry of the Ellingson motor cars. This is a 1964 Chevrolet Impala SS for 98,995. Maybe we should have bought one of these back in 1970 something. They're a high demand car, everybody wants one. A lot of people do, maybe not everybody. Have a 1955 Pontiac Star Chief convertible for 79,995. Like the emblem or hood ornament, I should say. Black and white interior. More information on these vehicles, you can check the description in this video. There's a link to EllingsonMotorCars.com. The 1960 Chevrolet Impala Convertible. Beautiful car, huge. It's a huge car, it does not fit in my garage. Maybe it will fit in your garage. Just need to make a call. See if this car is available for sale after you watch this video and maybe it's available and you can pick yourself up this car from Ellingson. This one you can't buy, it's already been sold. Another Chevrolet Impala. In about a year from now, most of these cars won't be here. So if you're watching this video in 2024, you'll need to check back to the website and find out the ones that are actually available for sale. <laughs> Got a Ford Fairline 500 Skyliner retractable 1958. One of 14,713 produced. Kind of a cool looking interior. Got some fancy uh, cooling there for you. It looks like four fans down there. Is that what that's doing? Got a ventilation system. Cruise-o-matic, power brakes, power steering, AC. So yep, yeah, that's your AC system. Saw a couple of Ford Thunderbirds earlier. This is a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. 89.995. Thunderbird E code, 312. So we are talking earlier about differences of Thunderbirds. So here we can see the side vent that was available in 56 and 57. We have no emblem or crest on the side. So that makes it a 57. Also our script on the 57 is on the front fender as we're on the 55 and 56 had the script on the back. The Ford Thunderbird was a favorite car of one of my relatives, Tootie, was her name or nickname. If my mother's watching this, I remember seeing a car and Tootie indicating that she really loved this Ford Thunderbird with a little porthole window on the side. She liked it in black, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I remember we were shopping for a Trans Am, 78 Trans Am, and they had a nice black Thunderbird available for sale. So every time I see these cars, I think of a family member who has since passed. All right, got one final row in the front area here to go through. Uh, go ahead and get to the end of the row and kind of so you can see the front of the cars. Maybe I'll go backwards so that way you can see the rear of the cars and then we'll kind of come back from the front side. Right, this can be hard to do. We've got a lot of lights out here shining outside. The camera wanted to expose for outside, but then the cars are too dark, so I've kind of tried to expose this video for the inside. This is a 
1932 Ford Model 18 Sports Coupe, 69,995. Got room for some extra passengers here in the back. Got ourselves a huge car, 62 convertible Cadillac, red interior. Let's get all the way to the front here. So we got a Ford pickup truck. We'll be looking at that in a second. It was a 53, Olds 442. Chevy Chevelle. Yes, you could have smuggled at least two into the drive-in theater. My sister couldn't. My sister couldn't. She had to drive. She had claustrophobia. <laughs> this one's not exposing very well. We'll have to get it from the other side. The bright color with the lights. It's a 59 Imperial Crown Convertible for 109995 Yeah. I mean, look how nice this trunk lift. See, that's always one of my things when I buy cars. You look at this trunk lift. Look on the inside. This 1972 Chevy yeah. Chevelle yeah. Malibu. This car is not from Minnesota. No, let's just tell you that for a, a fact. She a Minnesota born and raised. 1969 Oldsmobile 442 for 59,995. 455 V8, four barrel, four speed, dual exhaust. Mm -hmm. And right back on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1953 Ford F100 pickup with 239 L head flathead V8 for 42,995. This was the huge Cadillac. Looks like we got it all on one screen at one time. Some black. Got the amazing wings so we can take flight. Maybe this is a rocket ship. You could go to the moon with this. Just need a little bit more power to break Earth's gravity. That concludes my tour of vehicles available at Ellingson Motor Cars in Rogers, Minnesota on March 4th of 2023. Consider visiting Ellingson Motor Cars in person or online to check out some of the cool vehicles in their inventory.